Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another video on OmniGuard Stash. My name is Tyler, and I'm going to be going into some thrift stores today looking for stuff to sell online for a profit. So let's head into this Goodwill, which is the first stop of the day, and see how it goes. And just so you guys have an idea, I'm actually uh, looking for stuff that I'm going to be selling on eBay for the most part. Uh, that's the platform I sell on. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff. All right, well, I'm in here walking around. Music's very loud, so I apologize for that. But the only thing I've found so far, I think, is going to be these Nikes. These are like some really old Nikes. And I can't find anything on them, but I might buy them just to risk it. They are $6.99, but they are they're old school. I mean, I can't find any comps on them. But there's not even a date on this one. This tag is very old. And typically your high top old Nikes, I think, are usually worth something. So I think I'm going to pick these up. Um, do, maybe do a little bit more research with Google Lens or something before I actually buy them. And then look at all these records. Look at all these records. But I unfortunately know nothing about records. I don't even know which ones to look for. I mean, there's a whole bin full of them. There's all these records. I mean, I guess if there's a if there's a barcode, I guess I could scan it and see if there is. But I don't know if records have barcodes, so. I'm going to look at a few of them and see see what they are. Looks like they're about $1.50 each, uh, most of them. So I'll, uh, I'll get back with you on if I pick any of these up. All right, well, we're going through one of my favorite sections, which is the toys and the plush. But man, that's just, they've gotten so expensive. I can, can't even really justify buying the plush anymore. $6.99 for this guy right here. I mean, he's a pretty big Grogu, but that's six ninety nine. That's seven bucks. Here's a Disney. Here's a Disney store. Whoops, Disney store Tigger here, but they want four ninety nine for that. So I mean, I can't keep buying plush for five dollars plus and and you know hold on to them forever to make ten bucks. So I'm gonna have to leave them behind unless I can find something here that's ultra rare and super valuable. Then I'll pick that up, but other than that, these are all these plush are just too expensive. And uh, I'm gonna keep looking through the hard goods and see if I can find something, but nothing yet. The only thing I have in my cart is just those shoes that I haven't really looked into yet. So I'm gonna keep looking around here and see if I can find anything. All right, well, apparently I can't really find much else. <laughs> I've been looking through here for a while and everything's either too expensive or not in great condition. So not too great of a great of a stop here and I've spent a lot of time here because this store is loaded right now it is packed full of stuff like and they keep bringing they keep bringing stuff out I mean I keep looking but nothing too great so I am gonna get these pair of Nikes which I think are gonna be worth it $6.99 these are definitely some vintage Nikes need for speed carbon for $3.99 I think it's going for about 15 bucks or so plus shipping so that'll be a decent pickup and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here all right well I'm just now getting out of that Goodwill and I spent a total of $11.75 on the video game and one pair of shoes so not the greatest of finds but we did find some something and uh, I'm gonna I did sell a couple things uh, over the last day and uh, I'll put them on here I put some comps up uh, those are gonna go to the post office today stuff I sold recently and uh, I think I'm gonna cut this off and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna hit some more Goodwills tomorrow before work. And uh, I, I know that uh, recently over the last uh, couple videos, I've gained quite a few subscribers. I think we're close to 500 right now, which is awesome. Thank you so much if you are subscribed and you're a subscriber and watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, just so you know what you're getting into, I'm just, I, I work full time and I do this uh, eBay and thrifting for for on a side basically a hobby business right now and yard sales are coming soon so i will have definitely more yard sale stuff coming up once it starts to warm up uh consistently i think there will be a lot more of those which i like those much more than going to thrift stores these days well hey there everybody it's the next day and we're gonna hit some thrift stores today hopefully two at least and uh, we're gonna go in this Salvation Army here. I've never actually been in this Salvation Army uh, that has really weird hours and only open a few days a week. So let's get in here and let's see what we can find in this uh, new new to me thrift store. And I have I have Kate with me today for a little bit. Might get this right here. It's open. The board games are only two dollars. So I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to look into it. So I'm not going to pick up any of those board games because I did check them out and they're they're missing pieces and parts. So I'm not going to pick them up, even though they're two bucks. But I did find a pair of these Belleville boots. I'm not sure how much they want for them, but they're pretty good. Comps are comps are pretty all right. All right. I think I might pay eight nine dollars for them if that's what they want, but I'm not sure. But I'll find out when I check out. The only thing I ended up picking up in the in the the Salvation Army is these pair of boots, which we only paid three dollars for the boots. These are good, definitely going to be worth it. These have vibrant bottoms and they're in really good like almost new like condition i imagine these will probably go for 60 70 pretty easily uh so we'll just have to see i have to find the exact comps but i knew that these were in great shape and i was going to pick them up so anyway we're going to try to get to another thrift store before i gotta head to work all right guys well we're at the second goodwill for today and uh it started raining unfortunately and uh, Kate had to go pick up the girls um, from school. So it's just me. I'm going to pop in here. Got a few more minutes before work. And uh, hopefully we can find something good. I'm going through here and I'm not really seeing much. Got a few more minutes. I'm going to keep looking. Um, hopefully I got something else to show you. All right. Well, I'm leaving out that Goodwill. And man, I didn't find nothing in there. Left with, with, left with nothing, which is kind of rare. I guess I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow. It'll be the third day. And uh, I'll try again in some other thrift stores. See if I can find anything to show you guys. All right, everybody. Well, it's day three. This has been a very uneventful adventure here. I've been trying to put together this video, going to Goodwills and stuff, trying to find stuff to flip on eBay. And I have been very unsuccessful other than those pair of boots, which were pretty good yesterday. Um, but we're gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna go in here. So this is gonna be my final stop, the, the final boss here, Goodwill. So we're gonna see what, see what happens. So the first thing I found, which is way out of my wheelhouse of expertise, is this. I think it's called a Nietzsche, Nietzsche? A little uh, sewing machine here. I want $12.99 for it. Both comps are kind of like around $100. I, I don't know. I might pick this up, maybe. Just sell it as is. I don't even know if it works. What it's missing, I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Put it in the comments if you think I'm going to buy it or not. Well, as of right now, I have it in my cart. So. I don't know. I'll think about it a little bit more. And uh, I did come across this cool, I don't think I'm going to get it because it's too expensive, but it's $9.99 for this cool old, older, this Sony Dream Machine, which I would get it if it was just cheaper. It's 10 bucks. They go for about 30 I just can't. I don't, I don't know. I don't, don't want to spend that much money. I don't want to spend $10 on this. So, I mean, I'm going to pass on it unfortunately i don't think it's really worth it to pick it up so let me know what you think all right so i'm about to get out of here i am gonna pick up the sewing machine i am gonna do it i'm gonna do it i can sell it i can sell anything right and uh pick this up too it's 2.99 it's like a bobblehead of him sliding into like home plate or something um looks pretty cool uh, i think comps are all right there's one sold comp with no box so I think I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna get out of here. It's about time for work. So, all right, guys, we just got out of that Goodwill and uh, I got the I got the Nietzsche Nietzsche sewing machine and the bobblehead here. Uh, not the they're pretty good finds. You know, I'm I'm due for some punishment on the big and obnoxiously hard to ship and test things. So I feel like I deserve this. If you know where I'm coming from. So yeah, that should be interesting to dig into. Um, see, it looks really cool though. I mean, it looks. You know, it just, I don't know, has that old school, like, look to it. And it just, I don't know, caught my eye. So, but I know this video is going to be a little bit shorter than some other ones. But I really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and liking the videos. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next one.